Actually, Ambassador Vimal gave me a, a lovely place to start. It wasn't where I intended to start, but it's that kind of day. He looked over at the photograph of George Harrison and he said he'd rather be George Harrison. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a good. A, a particular, the Beatles, a particular favorite of yours? Uh, all the Beatles all are the favorite Beatles. of them. Yeah, and all their music. <laughs> is there a particular Beatles era that is more a favorite than another? I mean, an iconic song that is. When uh, I'm 64. <laughs> when, but, I'm but slowly that, approaching. <laughs> no, it's, it's still a ways off. I, uh -huh, I happen to uh -huh. know we're. We're very close in age, and we'll just pretend that that's really on the Far horizon. Away. Let's do that. Um, mm. I would say that uh, based on the turnout, um, mm. we've come a long way from Freedom Fries, haven't mm. we? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Thanks, God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the, uh, the, the French and American <coughs> relationship, I was trying to figure out, is it, is it more a marriage? Is it dating? Or is it, you know, long-time friends? Because we, 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 we have so much connected with each other, and then we have these disputes. We get very mm -hmm. upset with each other, and then we come back together again, and we, mm -hmm. and now we seem to be in one of our particularly. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you attribute that to? Uh, I agree with your term. Uh, sorry, I agree <laughs> with your term. I agree with uh, long-time friendship. Uh, uh, dating from a long time, yes, <laughs> by absolutely. the way, uh, and I think that's maybe one of the reasons. Like with very good friends, from time to yeah. time we have up, ups and downs. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, what has always surprised me is that our ups are very high, and our downs can be very low. Yeah. Uh, precisely because that friendship is very profound. Uh, uh, my personal impression uh, is twofold. Of course, one one of the reasons why we're back. Uh, back on course, I hope, is because we've got a new president and who has stated very clearly that he was a friend of, uh, of America and that yes. he wanted to be seen as such. Uh, I think maybe the, uh, the other reason was that during those last few years we went so, so down, so down way that mm -hmm. uh, we all knew, uh, whether it be here or in France, that this, this wasn't the natural way of uh, working together, but a way or another we had to come out of this, uh, of this stage. Uh, and uh, now we're back on course, so it's okay. Mm. Don't you find that whatever the uh, opinions that, that French and Americans often have of each other, you know, sort of at the ground level, it's either because they haven't been to each other's country, mm. and then when they get there, they find out that <laughs> what they were thinking was incorrect anyway. <laughs> I mean, don't you find that when you... Yes, but there is a lot, in, in at least in my country, I would say, there is this... Uh, uh, High, high respect and great ideas about your country, you know, mm -hmm. because of uh, what we receive from you, the, the movies, uh, mm -hmm. the music, uh, the books. Um, uh, in fact, uh, the, the French, French people are, are greatly fond of your culture. If you look at the way people read all the books that come out from yeah. here, the way we run to see your movies, uh, even if we enjoy very much French movies also, yes. but, but still. And there's this great tradition of being quite, uh, uh, quite attracted by your country for many years. Mm. Do, do you feel that you've had to apologize a lot, though, for France's interest in Jerry Lewis? <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how many this times has, has, how many times does a French person get asked by an American, "What's with the Jerry Lewis thing?" <laughs> That's part of our pets. We like that, yeah. and we go on. We, we want to keep those traditions alive. <laughs> we, yeah. And I'm sure that um, that there are there are French people who we adore that maybe you don't understand, but I don't really know who that would be, right off. But um, uh, do you? Do you think that um, they they haven't the French haven't warmed to George Bush though, the the relationship may be better but the but the discontent over the war didn't change, it's that America's discontent with the war reached where the rest of the world already was, wouldn't you say? But I think that there's there are two stages there. Uh, after 9/11, mm -hmm. I mean, there was a uh, uh, great. Fun, how, how could I say it? Uh, uh, a great friendship towards your country, towards your president, Sympathy. towards everybody. Mm -hmm. And then you had the war. You mustn't forget, uh, 
because maybe we, we have a bit forgotten that time, but during the first month of uh, 2003, be mm -hmm. before your country well, decided to intervene, mm -hmm. there were a huge mobilization from public opinion. You had oh, a we, million yes, people, I think we all remember that. Not, not only in France, but mm -hmm. in Spain. In, uh, it was one of the uh, strongest uh, public opinion right. movements that we had seen for many years. And this has struck very much uh, the, the French imagination. I mean, we were very much uh, uh, against that war. So, so, of course, that had some consequences, of course, on our relations, but also on the way we looked at, uh, at, uh, at your administration. But let's say uh, after one or two years, at the start of 2005, then things had started to, uh, to work again. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have done some pretty good work together in, on the Lebanon, and, uh, Lebanon on the uh, nuclear issue with Iran, uh, and some other stuff. Uh, we've been working well together. Mm -hmm. Right now, you've got, you've got an issue, a hot spot happening in Chad. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe your defense minister was just here meeting Last with week. Condoleezza mm -hmm. Rice, mm -hmm. and I imagine that was about mm -hmm. Chad well, and other things. Uh, m most other things, because uh, at that time when he was here, uh, the, the battle or the fight hadn't started in Chad yet. We right. knew that it was coming because we had seen those rebels uh, starting and working right. and approaching the frontier, uh, but uh, nothing had started yet. Mind you, Chad is an old issue, and we know a lot about it because we had many more um, uh, fights taking place in the past with Chad, so mm -hmm. we know this place very well. Uh, and we've been trying uh, every time to see how we could help, and, and this has uh, and this was one of those occasions. And mm. it's sort of getting worse almost daily, I guess. It, it, I think, during the weekend, it went very. It was very difficult because the battle was taking place in the middle of the the, the capital, mm -hmm. Jamena, uh, which is not a, a huge town, and well, you had a lot of uh, foreign foreign citizens. Right. No. So in fact, the the French soldiers that were there had to do more or less uh, the all, all alone the evacuation uh, uh, of mission uh, and of all was, nationalities uh, for all just, nationalities yeah. mm -hmm. that that was very interesting you even had to come and help your embassy right. which was right at the middle of the fire at one point mm -hmm. on, on uh, during the, between saturday and sunday morning uh, so we were all uh, working on it, and they, uh, our soldiers came to your embassy, took the people there, and brought them to one of the uh, spots where we were mm -hmm. gathering all, all the people. Mm -hmm. uh, is France the only nation with troops there? Uh, foreign troops, yes. Yes. yes so you're moment. you're sort of on your own there right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We've been there for many years. Uh, and do you think you'll be okay on your own? <laughs> uh, there are two things. We, we had uh, permanent troops there staying for, for many years uh, according to an agreement we have with Chad mm -hmm. uh, that we uh, give, we help them technically, we train their soldiers. And then there is this other idea that has been, been a decision made by the Security Council to have a special European force at the frontier between Chad and Sudan. Mm -hmm. This has to do with the Darfur issue. It's something different. Right, exactly. We had decided uh, in the United Nations that it could be useful to have an international force there at the frontier uh, to look at the uh, refugees camp, mm -hmm. to look at the borders, and to be vigilant and to survey what is going on. That force, we took some time to gather the whole, the whole troops. Uh, now we have uh, around 2,000 people ready to go, coming mostly from France, but also from Sweden. These are troops ready to deploy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, France, Sweden, Poland, mm -hmm. Ireland, and a few others. Do you think it's going to come to that? Yeah. Uh, we still decided to do that. If the, uh, the situation in Chad uh, gets, gets uh, cooler, and this is the way it's proceeding at mm -hmm. the moment, we think that we could start the uh, setting up and the implementation of that troop in a few days. So, and mm -hmm. um, any American involvement? No, 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 not for the time being. We decided it would be mostly European affair. Mm -hmm. uh, and what is interesting is that maybe we're going to have the Russians getting involved and helping us on that one. So I think it would be very interesting. Y you, mm -hmm. you talk about the, uh, the French fascination with America and the occasional appreciation, mm -hmm. but um, how are they viewing our election? I would imagine it's very interesting to them. <laughs> 
I must say it, it's amazing the way uh, French press, radio, television are, it's a are huge following. Story. I've never seen anything like that in our country. Usually we wait for uh, your presidential elections in November and the campaign that takes place before. Right. For the primaries, there has always been some interest, but never uh, along the lines we're seeing at the moment.